Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk more about Epic Universe. Lots of progress happening. They're working 24 hours a day, six days a week now. So things are really progressing. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with all five lands including Celestial Park, starting with Celestial Park. Some major changes ha have happened over there. Over at Stardust Racers, Rockwork, or Scalping is back up to make the Rockwork and theme the uh, uh, the Comet that will uh, be the major theme element to that coaster. And then they're going to plant tons and tons of trees like they have already had in the How to Train Your Dragon area. You can see down below to kind of cover up those coaster tracks from Celestial Park. But coasters have been testing and dual testing as well. So it's very, very exciting as this thing is potentially less than a year out from opening at this point really cool fog effect here at the star Fracious second launch you can see the tracks black so it can blend into the tunnel then it goes back to its gold and green colors and you'll be shooting out a fog as you go into that major top hand element in the second half of the ride which will be very incredible and you can see portions of the extended queue which will be covered starting to um form there you can see here in the bigger section number one is the fog effect in the second launch number two is with that extended queue which is you know, very kind of grinding very celestial as over there here number three looks like it'll be a pathway to the maintenance area and then number four will probably the entrance to the star four racers attraction itself and again that extended queue will be covered which will be very very nice especially in that florida heat i'm so glad that universal is taking time to cover to cover these queues uh, harry potter one will also be covered which is great because it'll be you know florida can be quite uh, the weather extreme in the summertime so that is fantastic let's move on over to celestial park and see they've been testing the water and you see the things they've added a line of fountains about the all the three lakes and they're testing the cascading water effect even even in the three main ponds of the waterfall is going on the bridge so it looks beautiful all filled with water and then when it's fully done with all the trees it should look gorgeous and the second uh new addition there the new four two restaurants there that are going in that building uh, that building's progressing quite nicely i don't think it'll open a park but it shouldn't open too far thereafter because they're already putting the ceiling on that building which is quite nice over at the dark universe major detail work has been happening is the main entrance to the franken monsters unchained the frankenstein experiment has been um is being worked on right now the tops have been inspires have been completed for four of the six um of the entry gate there you can see frankenstein in this spooky gothic dark font over the gate right there and i'm sure there'll be lines to single rider and the lockers and all that good stuff that's probably what will be under that arch until you go to the extended queue over to the left hand side and let's get, take a look even farther and here's a better image of it you can see work is happening in the moat area within that yellow large yellow crane there and separation in the water i wonder if what's going to be over there it probably won't be uh there forever and probably just using it for construction purposes but yeah curious if the, this moat will have maybe some fountains or just be still water because yeah it's a pretty deep moat begin i begin versus preview center is officially open to guests as of this recording and in there they have some new dot concept art of the um dark universe and they confirmed the village's name here is darkmoor and darkmoor is looking absolutely fantastic and the portal to the entrance to, to, to the land is covered in plastic and looking just about complete as well here's another extended queue this one does not look to be covered but it will be shaded by trees already some of the trees are in there but there will be even more trees in this area and you won't be outside for too long because most of this queue is indoors except for the monsters unchained attraction looks very cool though kind of that haunted mansion type courtyard but even like darker and gothic -er, uh, which is really cool and there's a lot of stanchions there so we'll be holding to hours worth of people as this is certainly the main attraction for the land not just for the land but for the entire park as well this in the harry potter speaking of the facade of the main attraction monsters unchained that prefab that top piece is definitely a prefab piece and it's probably replaced overnight probably won't even get to um see it reconstructed because they just haven't worked on it at all so i'm determined now that they're building it off site we'll just plop it in like legos at the end same with those tops of those turrets on the main um entryway but look at the aging there's some incredible aging on this this facade it looks absolutely gorgeous and and really scary but really like very well themed i cannot wait to see this in person because again this might be my favorite ride in my favorite land of the entire park yet you know i've done lots of polls and 
But yeah, this has been the number one most anticipated so far. For good reason. Over at Curse of the Werewolf, we got the first revealing of the paint scheme for the trains. And these will be gold trains. You can see on the sides are painted gold. And of course, they're the spinning coaster. The rest of the coaster and the theming looks to be all complete. And they're test testing two trains at a time constantly. And yeah, it's cool to see the final, almost the final reveal. We got just uh, the bottom left to go. But the, the, I love this little bronze gold color they had going on the sides here. And it look fantastic. And otherwise, no one else is looking fantastic. Darkmoor. Darkmoor is looking very good with its very dark, literally dark roofs and weathered uh, cobblestone type facades there. I uh, can't wait to see there's me a nice steakhouse in here to eat at, uh, which I'll be definitely eating at. And I'm uh, excited to see some character interactions, meet and greet. And I think there's lots of fog machines in here, according to Lisa Stella, that will definitely be pumping fog throughout the whole area, especially at night. This will be just a Perfect land to get into for that atmosphere. What about the Grand Helios Hotel? The main new thing here is the major dome. The main dome is put in. It's in and they're working on it. Um, it doesn't have its color on. They're still working on that in the rooftop of the bar. Or the facade of the bar um, at the top as well as the, uh, the carport there. Uh, the main entrance. The grand entrance on the non-theme park side to the hotel. It's a close look. This is from Bioshock on the ground. Of that just the scale you can see the scale and this is with the spire they put the spire on the rooftop this is obviously from a different day and it looks absolutely fantastic over at the wizard world of harry potter we got uh, some official concept art for that and the epic universe uh preview center as well looks fantastic and we got uh, what this uh, circus entrance will look like and it'll be red it'll be a nice red circus entrance to a circus tent entrance to the show in the area, and of course the main attraction over to the left hand side. More detail work has been um, appearing on the facades of the buildings, including this uh, hotel building, a hotel from 1879, so that's the time period we're in right now. Here's the extended queue, and that could be a covered extended queue for the main attraction at the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter area. Hopefully inside this it won't just be a dark room, but they'll have some nice theming, which I'm sure they will. It'll be probably like Forbidden Journey with the moving, uh, talking pictures and all that good stuff. So they'll have some great theming in this uh, extended queue area. I'm excited to see the whole uh, area of this this facade. The whole theming it looks fantastic. And here's just an overview of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter itself. Nice compact land with so much detail on the walls. Uh, there'll be plenty of look things to look at here, plus the interactive wand experiences, which will be in here as well. Let's hop on over to How to Turn the Drag. Looking at the Isle of Burke, you can see the movie or uh, the theater and stage show and the entrance exit in the haddock paddock area. Looking uh, fantastic, getting its theming, but the exterior skeleton is all ready to go. Mead Hall is all covered in green and just getting some detail work on the front on those two statues and on the the rock work for the uh, exit of the roller coaster as well as the doorway looking fantastic there and speaking of the roller coaster wing glide pickups wing gliders you can see the launch mechanism the theming mechanism here that will propel you on the launch hiccup is building contraption to teach you how to fly you can see that contraption right over there i believe it was confirmed in the press release already but you can see on this train here on the transfer transfer track that those circles in the back of each car that is for onboard audio so this is the attraction this coaster will have onboard audio which i'm sure i think all of the coasters will but this is really cool to see that it's confirmed right here with this onboard audio and uh what i think is still a nice train but i do think it's the worst theme of the trains we've seen of the coaster trains we've seen so far um out of the four coasters but again still a nice coaster train and there'll be animatronics and press up theming now cool family friendly coaster but definitely I feel, feel like the worst themed. What do you think? What is the best themed coaster train you've seen? Donkey Kong, this, Starfall Racers, or Curse of the Rail? So let me know in the comments below. Again, going through, uh, talking about maybe the worst themed train, but the theming itself is fantastic. It's going to be dipping below the grandstands of the Dragon Racers Rally here. You see the dragon tails and the dragons hanging out of their houses cheering you on as you go on your Dragon Racers Rally and try to win the race. But fire drill, the plumes filled up, all the boats are ready to go with their backstage and testing. Still, I've yet to put in those rest of those 2D figures, but yeah, those can take just a couple of days. They're just kind of like stick figures to put in that you're going to shoot at. 
And that is it. Moving over to Super Nintendo World, they're doing more and more colors forming on the, the whole land in the Mushroom Kingdom. You can see in the center here, this will be the meet and greet for Mario and Luigi, as you can see here in Hollywood and in Japan. Those big uh, blocks, and they'll go meet in front of those blocks right there. There will be some question blocks and some coin making opportunities as well. The stairs have finished. The Yoshi's Adventure entrance is going quite nicely. Um, Toadstool Cafe still doesn't have its show, but it is there. Uh, it's round figure to the left hand side. Here's a better look at the top level of the Mushroom Kingdom. See the the um, area where you'll see your um, check your score. You can see the Koopa's Crank Challenge, and over at Yoshi's Adventure, you can see a couple of animatronics and some uncovered Yoshi's. As I'm sure that part is doing uh, full testing, um, 24 hours, not 24 hours, but multiple hours of the day. And on the left side, you can see a lot of concrete, mostly on Peach's Castle. There's Toadstool Cafe again, still um, has no show, but it does have a nice entryway. And I'll say I should get some more color in the next several months. On Donkey Kong Country, that area is getting lots of color. As here's another, uh, well, this will be the gap, stop gap, where you can go ahead and jump over the water. And that uh, area over there will be the Donkey Kong Hut area. Oh, uh, that that steel area there, and there's the the cannon that you shoot out of, which looks really cool. They installed the main portion, the temple head, Donkey Kong head. The bananas on top, and it's nice and golden. This is over, um, yeah, just about over that launch area, and they still got some painting to do. But yeah, other than that, the Kong, Donkey Kong will be just about done after. Very cool set piece here as the coaster comes in and out of the show building, and they have some Kong statues. Um, on the side of the temple there lots of gold painting continues on the ground and on this section as well looks like they're just about done a couple more um gray spots to fill in but other than that it is all but done that is it for this week's epic universe update lots of projects progress coming in as we enter the under the year mark lots of more detailing coming in and pretty soon in the next few months we're getting opening date and ticketing details so stay tuned for that if you like this video, press that thumbs up and subscribe for more theme park updates. Check out my socials, you can see on the screen down below. If you want to contribute to the channel, you can uh, become a YouTube member, channel member. Go ahead and get some exclusive perks, as well as press the super things to, uh, down, down there just to get a nice contribution. On that, everyone, subscribe and have an epic day.